how do you discover your spirit guide? And there are um, a number of ways. The traditional way is that somebody else will journey for you. There's drumming, the person journeys, they enter non-ordinary reality, they go to their power animal uh, or spirit guide and they ask for assistance in finding a spirit animal for you. And um, the animal takes them on a journey. And traditionally, the way that you would know that this particular animal is the animal for the person for whom you're journeying is that it shows itself to you four times from four different angles. It can also just be extremely persistent um, or insistent. It can say, I am the animal. <laughs> and even if you resist, you will find after a few minutes of journeying that indeed this is the animal. It's not going away. It's shown itself more than four times. Um, and there's a, a means by which the animal is then brought back and we say essentially blown into the body of the other person. It's extraordinary the feeling that you have when that animal when the spirit of that animal enters you. And this is before you know, you've learned what it is. It's very profound. Um, and then you're told what the animal is. That's the traditional way. The other way is through dreams um, or through seeking a vision, a vision quest. It's another way that you can be given a spirit guide. Uh, and uh, the other way that you have one already um, is the spirit guide that you've had since birth and the way that you can discover that is simply by looking around because usually people have a predilection. They have a disposition for a particular animal. Um, they may have been collecting it for, uh, you know, since they were a kid and they just have tons and tons of owls or elephants or turtles or wolves um, and they have always felt a kinship uh, with that animal. Uh, that's uh, another way. But the animal that you're given through uh, shamanic technique, through somebody journeying for you, is a very specific spirit guide for the next, um, the next phase of your journey, of your spiritual journey, of your self-discovery. So, um, and, and it's a very dynamic relationship and it's, um, it's wonderful. There are teachers who will teach you and share their experiences, but you'll, you'll tend to find that shamanic practitioners uh, try not to share too much with you because they don't want to predispose you for certain discoveries. Um, so they'll teach you the techniques and then you have to use them. Um, the Foundation for Shamanic Studies has courses all over. The Tradition of Ara has um, shamanic workshops. Uh, it's much more common now. Also, you can find folks who have a shamanic counseling certificate. That's what it's called. And those are folks that can help you to get a, a spirit guide or a power animal.